Hi, this is Ellen from the Chili Dog, and today I'm going to show you how to do a figure eight cast on, which is useful when you are knitting toe up socks. I'm going to be working with double pointed needles, but once you're familiar with this technique, you could use circular needles and knit your socks with the magic loop method if that's what you're more comfortable with. So to begin, we're just going to hold our knitting needles parallel and bring our yarn in between the two needles and kind of pinch it together so it holds. And one thing you just want to be aware of right here is that at this point, your tail should be coming up between the two needles and your working that yarn is hanging down underneath the two needles. And you can just secure the working yarn, just pinch it between your fingers so that it doesn't get away from you. Next, we're going to use the tail to wrap figure eights around the two needles. So the only thing to remember here is that as you're working, you need to bring the tail up between the two needles in between each loop. So you start with the front needle, bring it around the front needle and up between the two and around the back and up between the two around the front and up between and the back and up between. And your pattern will tell you exactly how many stitches you need to cast on. And for my pattern, I need to cast on eight stitches. So I have four on the front and four on the back. And it's okay if at this point they're not super tight because we're gonna tighten them later. And one thing just to keep in mind is right now, this yarn tail is coming up on what is our right, the right side of our work. So we're gonna need to take care to turn it to the wrong side in a minute. And another thing to be aware of as we're knitting across the first four stitches on this back needle, when you get to this last stitch, just be careful that you're knitting into the right leg of the stitch and that you're not moving this yarn tail at all. So we're just going to push them together and we'll knit across those first four stitches on the back needle. And this technique feels a little bit weird at first because as you're working across this first round, the stitches that you wrapped in the figure eight are loosening up quite a bit. So it just feels kind of awkward. So I made it across those first four stitches. I'm gonna turn my work 180 degrees. And now we need to flip that yarn tail to the other side. So to do that, I'm just gonna bring my working yarn forward I'm going to drop the yarn tail down between the two needles. And what we want to happen is when we knit that next stitch on the other needle, we want to make sure that the working yarn is wrapping around that yarn tail to hold it secure. So just to make sure that that yarn tail doesn't get away from me, I'm just going to hold it in my left hand underneath my work. And then I'm going to knit across the other four stitches. And again, this just feels a little bit odd because the stitches you're working into, the cast on stitches are loosening up. And normally when you're knitting, you're knitting into stitches that aren't quite so loose. So now I'm gonna turn my work as if I was going to knit the next round. But before we work on the next round, you, like I said, you can see that those cast on figure eight stitches are really, really wide and we need to tighten them up. So we're gonna tighten up our work and we're gonna tighten the stitches from right to left in the same direction that we knit. And to begin, we're gonna look for the strand of yarn that's in between the first and second stitch and it goes down to between the second and third stitch on that front needle. And we're gonna lift that strand up and tighten our work. And then you're gonna lift the strand right below it. And you'll know you have the right one if it tightens up pretty easily. If not, you're grabbing the wrong strand. 
So now we need to lift the strand that's between the second and third stitch, and it goes down to between the third and fourth stitch. It's kind of hiding in there on me. So it goes from between the second and third to between the third and fourth. Pull. And then you pull the one up in the other direction. And finally, we're going to lift the strand that goes from between the third and fourth stitch to the side of the fourth stitch on the bottom. That pulls that tight, and then we should just be able to pull the yarn tail to tighten it up. And it's nice and neat, and there's not that huge gap in the cast on stitches anymore. So from this point, you would just continue to work around your pattern and work in rounds just like you normally would for socks. So I hope you enjoyed learning about how to do a figure eight cast on, and I hope you'll give it a try for your next sock pattern. Happy knitting!